The impacts of global climate change are finding a way into every part of our society. No longer just an environmental issue, climate change affects the very fabric of life and economy. More than half of the world's population live in urban areas, placing a huge burden on natural resources and limiting access to basic needs like shelter, food and energy. Buildings are the largest energy consumers, offering one of the greatest hopes for positive environmental and economic change and reducing the impacts of global warming. There are more than 116 million residential buildings and more than 4.7 million office buildings in the United States, with more added every year. According to the United States Green Building Council, buildings in the United States account for 65% of the nation's electricity usage, 30% of greenhouse gas emissions, 30% of waste production, and 12% of drinkable water consumption. These figures, as well as improvement in renewable technology, local government leadership, and consumer demand for green products and services have created a new approach to the way we design, build, and operate buildings. As a full-service consulting and engineering design firm, Mazzetti & Associates focuses on technically complex project types. They prioritize design measures that reduce waste, cut energy costs, and prepare buildings for a new climate-constrained economy. Hospitals and data centers use a lot of energy, but it can be really hard to bring energy-saving designs into these buildings. Concerns like patient safety, reliability, tend to wash away concerns for everything else, including energy efficiency. But increasingly, we're starting to find that with increasing energy prices, with an increasing awareness about our impact on the global environment, the people who own and operate healthcare facilities and data centers are taking seriously their need to protect the health and safety of this planet. We're bringing lots of new ideas to hospitals. One of the things we're researching, together with Kaiser Permanente and various research institutions, is the use of a new type of ventilation system. This system brings in air at the floor and allows it to rise, rather than dumping lots of cold draft air from the ceiling. This allows for cooling that is more efficient, in some cases reducing energy consumption by up to 50%, and potentially reducing infectious disease transmission by removing contaminants from the breathing space. When we introduce smoke in a room like this, you can see how the air will puddle at the ground and rise when it encounters heat sources such as equipment and people. In the same manner, an infectious particle would be drawn up and out of the breathing space and not whirled around and around, ultimately increasing the likelihood of infection. Because data centers and hospitals are more energy intensive than most other types of buildings, they offer many opportunities for energy conservation. According to the U.S. Environmental Protection Agency, if current trends continue, national energy consumption by data centers will nearly double to over 100 billion kilowatt hours by year 2011. Eliminating that energy would be equivalent to removing 7 million cars from our roads. Another energy saving strategy is, is to utilize on-site power generation. The waste heat from this power generation can be utilized to drive a cooling system. This cooling system then yields a double benefit on the energy. These kinds of new technologies are readily available in the market and they are being widely adopted now within the data center industry. We are looking at many ways to save energy in data centers. One of the biggest concerns in data centers is how to keep the servers cool. So what we have done is take advantage of the server manufacturer's agreement on how they arrange the airflow through the servers. It's now from the front to the back. We can place the servers now in rows and using these rows we can create hot and cold aisles. Here at NetApp, we've gone a step further with this idea and actually installed physical barriers that separate the hot and cold air streams. There's an enormous energy benefit from doing this, 50% reduction in fan energy alone. By leveraging innovations like the hot aisle, cold aisle configuration and free cooling, it allows NetApp to gain much more from the resources that we have. Then we take that experience and knowledge and apply that to our customer solutions so they can get the same benefits. We as a species have got to do something dramatic to change the way we're impacting the environment. Smart companies today are seeing that the laws and the regulations are moving us in that direction and they're positioning themselves to take advantage of that fact. Kaiser Permanente is working hard to figure out how to install solar power systems at a number of their sites. St. Joseph's Health System was one of the first healthcare systems to inventory its greenhouse gas emissions and report them on a national registry and is now working to figure out how to reduce those emissions. 
Various utilities in California and around the country are aggressively offering financial incentives to help hospitals bring their energy consumption down. Reducing the environmental impact of hospitals, data centers, and laboratories is really difficult. But increasingly, the owners of these facilities are realizing the moral imperative to do that. We're working with a lot of them to find new and creative ways to help them bring their energy consumption down and reduce their global impact. And we're helping a lot of them find ways to finance and to pay for it. We have been helping our clients save energy for decades. One of our early projects were the windmills that were installed east of San Francisco, which have been producing clean power for many years. We've always cared about the environment that we are creating for future generations. So we are working hard to lead hospitals, data centers, and labs into a greener future. If you would like more information about Mazzetti and Associates, please call 415-362-3266 or visit them online at www.mazzetti.com.